Right, new plan. My new plan is the original plan, assuming I don't forget it, to go to Averyville, uh, then North Hollows, then Crow Road, South Hope, and Averick City. What? Oh, Jesus! what happens when you try to read the map, you get run over. I really should stop at some point and see if those people by the side of the road are actually hitchhikers that I can pick up and have an encounter with. Same as before, absolutely need gas right off the bat. See what they have at the antique shop. Or pawn shop. Grimoire. That's gotta work, huh? Travel guide. Describes local tourist attractions. Huh. I wonder if that might mark stuff on my map. Let's buy it, just in case. Grimoire. Has a small inscription. I'm not going to read that. I don't want to bring up evil upon my household. <laughs> That'll probably do? Sure. I really do wonder why there's so many different types of books. Do some work and some don't? Do only one work? Or what? Let's see if more places are marked on the map or something. No? No, that doesn't seem to have done anything, actually. Right, well to North Hollows, and then Crow Road.
Do I check out the dark alley? Does anything good ever happen in the dark alley? I've gotten bad results two times out of two times. See if we can spend our money first, just in case we lose some. Cowbell. It's pretty expensive, so I'm assuming this would do for a bell. So I have a book. I have a bell. I just need a candle and I guess probably matches. Let's try the dark alley. Oh, that's it. Find nothing of value, nothing bad happened. Okay. Should I be trying to increase my mental state? I'm assuming it affects how many... I'm pretty sure it affects how many bad things happen to you on the road. Because early on they don't seem as intense as they are later. Would be nice to have less bad things. But should I even bother with a supermarket? Or should I just go for like quaaludes or whatever at a pharmacy? Because it sounded like it wouldn't do much. Even chocolates is like a minor amount. Is cigarettes minor as well? That's small amount. I, yeah. I don't know about that. And I'm pretty sure the scratch card is never going to give me anything. Let's just go. So, from North Hollows, we are heading to Crow Road. Reminds me of the false, like, failure states that you'd get in Eternal Darkness. Oh, hey! Crow Road's got a crow. Well, we've, we've never been here before. Oh, fortunately, unfortunately, no mechanic. I guess I'll check the antique store. Still looking for matches and a candle, right? So let's buy the candle. We're still looking for a candle, aren't we? I don't know how to check my inventory. I don't even know if you can, so I'm just going to go with it. Hmm. 
Here we go in the dark alley. While you're messing around in the alley, a local miscreant siphons off some of the petrol from your unattended vehicle. Lost some petrol. <sighs> Hope it wasn't much. So we're at Crow Road. Let's head to South Hope. Yeah, I still haven't... I don't think I've ever gotten to South Hope, have I? I got really close to it, but then didn't get there. That's the place what, that has so many roads leading into it. And it's only two stops away from the dead end road. My end goal. And again, it shows a gas station, like, midway through from Crow Road to South Hope. It must be by the side of the road and I keep missing it or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, South Hope. I'll try to go a little bit slower and keep an eye out for a gas station. Really? It shows it being about halfway, and we start out at six, so I'm assuming it'll be when the distance is about three. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello? Oh god. Oh god, they are a hitchhiker. Uh <laughs> what have I done? Oh. Okay, can I like get gas here? Is this is this just is this gas or is this just like a store? I think it's just a store. Maybe a hitchhiker will give me money. Do you think? Like maybe you bring him to the next town and they give you money? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's how you earn money. God, look at their soulless face in the rear view mirror. Okay, we're coming up on distance three, so there might be a gas station nearby. Let's go pretty slow. seeing anything. Yeah, we're well past where the gas station should be. Awfully close to empty on the gas. It's especially creepy that the hitchhiker doesn't even talk, right? They don't even talk, they just silently get in the car. Did I get money? I don't know what my money was at. It's at 54 now. I, I'm not sure. I feel like that's more money than I had, but yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, they have a mechanic. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Fuel, absolutely most important thing. Without that, I can't get anywhere. How am I doing? 28% damage. That's not worth repairing. Uh, the only thing I need from the... I, the only thing I need for the ritual, I think, is matches or some sort of lighter. If I could buy that here, that'd be wonderful. I can't. Okay, so I better save probably all my money for another store. It'd be pretty sad if I got there and had everything but matches and couldn't light the candle. 
Okay, I'm feeling pretty good, actually. Is there something super cheap I can buy here? How am I doing? Stress reading at dangerously high level. I'm sure it is. 25. 16. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I can buy a chocolate bar and maybe have money left over for a lighter. Nah. I just hope I don't die. I hope you can't die directly from stress, rather just indirectly. Because at least I can fight the indirect threats, but if it just outright kills me from a heart attack or something, can't do much about that. Okay, so I gotta remember how much money I had. 14, 14, 14, 14, 14 bucks. If I find another hitchhiker, we'll see if I gain money. I'm pretty sure you do, though. It just makes sense. It'd be very strange if you didn't. So we are at South Hope. God, we're so close. Let's head to Averick City. Yeah. All right, let's be extra careful. Duh. Bloodstorm. Hmm? I guess I hit the lamppost. No, you don't. Don't throw that head on me. Oh god. Oh god. I didn't stand a chance. Can I get two? Nah, you can't have two hitchhikers. They don't want a carpool. Gotta say, if I was caught out in this quite literal hellstorm, I wouldn't be too picky about what car I got in. doing great on health, but not terrible. We're like halfway, I think. Damn it. Couldn't avoid it, there was a car next to me. I really hope there's a mechanic here, and I hope we get a bunch of money from this hitchhiker. Please, please, please. I have plenty of gas. Okay, 14 bucks. Now I got 29, yeah! Yeah, you get money from the hitchhikers. Okay, good. And there is a mechanic. Yes. But first, remember, this is the last city before the destination. I absolutely need some sort of lighter or matches. Please, please have some. Please. Please. Fuck. Oh, what does that mean? What does that mean? I need them, don't I? Ah, 
Ah, am I going to have to make another stop rather than go into my destination? Is that what's going to have to happen? I think it is. You should totally be able to buy matches from a supermarket. That's absolutely the sort of thing they would have. Okay. Can I partially repair my car, or...? Well, I obviously don't have that much money. Is it gonna just partially use up my money? No. You gotta be able to repair all of it or none of it. Okay. Um... Hmm. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. I'm going... I need to make another stop. I can't go to the end destination without something to light the things with. So... I'm going to spend some of my money, my money on reducing my stress so I take less damage. I have plenty of fuel. Damage is the only thing I need to worry about. I wish they had a pharmacy here, but they don't, so... Chocolate is going to have to be my replacement for drugs. God, this feels so bad. I feel so bad to see the end in sight, but then know that you can't go there, or at least be pretty sure that you can't go there, but I'm not 100% sure. It's just, what would be the point? Surely you need them, right? Okay, we're at Averick City, so I'm going to head to Knight's Hill. That's interesting. There's two roads from Knight's Hill to Dead End Road. Huh. Here we go. I need to be really careful. I have tons of fuel. It's not that much of a distance. I'm going to go slow. Right? Not full speed. What? Is, what is this? It's a baby carriage. It's a crosswalk. Huh. I was worried it was gonna like shoot out into the road and I'd run over a baby or something. It's kind of funny that I don't need the windshield wipers on when it's raining. I already feel like the chocolate's done a lot. It hasn't been very terrifying. I think once you get to one, I'm just going to call it like, I don't know, kilometers? I think once you get to one kilometer from your destination, you start to not get any ill effects. I think you can just drive straight from this point on. I think it gets safe at that point. Okay, antique store. Would an antique store really have matches? I don't know. I can only hope so. Lighter, yes, thank god. Okay. Oh, they also have a wax candle. Standard candle. Well, I have a scented candle. Surely the spirits like, like scents more than a plain candle, right? It should appease them. Then again, is there really any point in hoarding my money? Now, 
It'll be fine. It's a scented candle. It's fine. It's fine, right? It's totally fine. It's so fine that I'm going to buy the wax candle anyway. In fact, it's so fine that I'm thinking about the fact that in the beginning of the game, when we did the ritual, there were three candles. Now I have two. Maybe I should actually have three. Buy another one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure they don't all need to be the same type. And then buy some chocolate for the road. Mm, actually, cigarettes. Okay. The final drive, I think. I hope. <laughs> Dead end road. It's my destination. Which one of these roads do I want to take? I suppose it doesn't matter. The one on the left of the map, anyway, looks like it's maybe shorter. They're probably both the same, though. I'm going to go left. Oh, oh, look at the quality of the road. It's all, it's a shitty road. Hmm? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It really is like eternal darkness. Or they make you think your system, there's something wrong with your system. Damn, there's a lot of stuff going on here, huh? Ooh, I saw a hitchhiker. Not that it matters, though. Oh! Remember, this one isn't real. We're not actually- it's not actually over. But I am in the red. Just for hitting a fucking trash can. Alright, we're gonna inch it along. Not good, not good, not good. I don't even know where the center of the road is because there's no dividing line. I wonder if the last kilometer is safe on this road? I don't know, I'm not going to count on it. God, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not scared about the ritual, I'm scared of dying. I've gotten so far. We're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there. Next exit. So you have returned to me. I am surprised. Very few make it this far. You poor naive fool. Many years ago I too performed the ritual. But I was lucky. 
I was able to bargain for my soul. On the condition that I continue the curse. And lure more unsuspecting lambs into the waiting arms of my master. Judge me not, child. You would have done the same. But enough talk. Did you bring the required items? Show me what you have. Please tell me I have everything. I see. An excellent selection you have here. Oh, thank God. Indeed, it seems you may still have a chance. Go now, and complete the ritual. There's still a chance to save yourself. To save yourself from my master. Whoa, what is... Oh, God. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to solve all of these with 30 seconds to go, I think. I wonder if you get more time with better quality ingredients or whatever, I don't know. Well, time hasn't started yet. I'm gonna take a sip of water. I'm scared. Okay. Here we go. None of them are doing anything. Okay. Did I do it? I think I did it. They don't do the particle effect, but they were making like a noise when they got into the right position. Okay. Sea of blood. Right. This is the end of the road. You have defeated the adversary. You reflect back on the night's events. Your hands still shaking, still haunted by the memories. Dew on the ground glistens in the light. You begin to feel more like yourself again. You think upon your original wish for bring her back. An item appears before you with a watery bloop sound. You realize this is the back you wished for. The back? It is finally yours. <laughs> okay, if you typed the right thing, then that would have very much worked. But uh, because of what I typed, it doesn't quite work. <laughs> the back is mine. Appears to have faint speckles of blood on the surface. Is this supposed to be literally an item? I was thinking... You know, like, immortality might be what I would wish for, something like that. In this case, I wished for a dead loved one back. But it seems to have been written as if it's an item. Which is... strange. Faint speckles of blood on the surface. Your heart sinks. You're so sure you wanted... Bring her back. <laughs> but now you have it. You can't help but feel somewhat disappointed. I'm sorry, this whole this whole ending sequence is just very weird because of what I typed and how it's using it. This is how your journey ends. Secret endings still remain. Zero of eight. Huh. I wonder what you need to do to get the secret endings, and eight of them at that. I wonder if it has to do with maybe the items that you take with you? Like the type of book, for example? Maybe if you take a Bible with you, that'd give you a, a different ending or something? I don't know. Or maybe it depends on what you type? Anyway. Yeah, so that ending was definitely awkward, but aside from that, I really enjoyed it. I, I love the aesthetic. It's creepy it's a mixture of lo-fi but also some things that are surprisingly high quality like just look at this menu for example it looks like there's normal mapping on that sign but also there's this like scan line effect and everything's super pixely and chunky so it's an interesting mixture of
I like that your view distance when you're driving is so short that as soon as something comes up that you have to respond to, you have almost no time to respond. That's the point. It scares the hell out of you because suddenly, hey, there's a train in front of you. You've got to slow down. It's interesting that a lot of the horror doesn't come from the things that actually happen, like things appearing, things jumping out, you know, jump scares and heads flying at you, trash cans being thrown at you and stuff like that. Some of that stuff can be startling, but that's not the biggest horror for me at all. The biggest one is the horror of what if I don't make it? If you're pretty early on, then that's not really... That feeling isn't really present, but the closer and closer I got to the end, the more I had invested time-wise into getting there, so the more I had to lose by dying, by failing. So the more scary it made it. So I feel like most of the horror actually comes from the resource management. This really is, at its heart, a resource management game. And the resources are so frighteningly, pun intended, scarce that you have to make some really hard decisions. Like, I chose to go into basically every dark alley that I found because I almost didn't have a choice. I almost had to, to hope that something good would happen, because I desperately needed money, or fuel, or a car repair, or whatever. And then right at the end, I had to decide to put an extra stop into getting to the end, which is just terrifying. You know, I was right there, I was so close, and I had to go an extra stop just to find something to light the candles with. So they forced me into making really uncomfortable decisions. So, yeah, overall, Dead End Road. I really enjoyed it. It's a really cool little creepy resource management driving game. I hope you enjoyed as well, and thanks for watching.